Hi, my name is Yilin Chu, and I'm a software developer in uh, Wolfram Research. Welcome to the talk about modeling multi-basics with PDEs. And in this talk, I will introduce what PDE model is, and I will show you several application models and demonstrate the workflow to do PDE modeling in the Wolfram language. Hi, uh, hello everyone, welcome. Uh, my name is Yiling Chu, and I'm a software developer here in the Wolfram Research. And welcome to the talk about modeling multi-physics with PDEs. For this talk, I will uh, start with a brief introduction on the PDE models, and then I will spend most of the time on the real life examples, showing you the workflow to do PDE modeling in the Wolfram language. So PDE stands for partial differential equations, and PDE models are a set of equations that describe the physics in life. For example, we can use wave equation to describe the sound propagation in air, and we can use heat equation to, de uh, to describe the heat transfer in a thermodynamic system. And even more, we can couple different PDEs together to simulate the interaction between different physics. And once we construct these PDE models, we can solve it numerically in the Wolfram language. And this is done using our powerful function called undisolve. And here we'll use finite element method as our numerical method. So currently, we are writing tutorials uh, about PDE modeling in different physical fields. We have background theory tutorials uh, complete in acoustic field and heat transfer field. And we also have many uh, application examples in different physical fields. And all these tutorials are wrapped in the PDE models overview page. So you can go to help and click on uh, Documentation Center. Let me make this a little bit larger. OK, so you, you can search for PDE model overview and click on it. And you can see all the tutorials we have for PDE modeling. For example, if you want to build a heat transfer model, then you can go to the heat transfer tutorial. And we have the background theory about uh, heat transfer PDE model and how you can construct it in the Wolfram language. And also, we have the uh, examples. For example, I click on acoustics application models and I go to acoustic muffler. And here, we are modeling three different types of acoustic muffler. And we can simulate and uh, compare their performance. So let me go directly to the end. So something like this. And even more, if we have an audio input, uh, I guess it is not playing. Okay, so uh, yeah, the sound is not working, but the, yeah, let's say you have an input audio, then you can even simulate the sound output from this muffler. Okay, so let's go back to our slide. So in the following, I will walk you through an example. And to do PDE modeling in Wolfram language, there are three major steps. Uh, the first step is to set up our PDE model, and then we will solve it numerically in uh, using undisolve. And then once we got the result, we can do some uh, post-processing, like animation and analysis. So, okay, let's start with this example. Here, I have a tungsten wire. At both ends, I apply a voltage, and this will introduce electric current flow within the wire. And due to this current flow, uh, like 
part of the current flow will convert into the thermal energy and heats up the wire. So to model this, I will first construct uh, an electrostatics model to simulate the electric field V. And then, based on this electric field, I can construct another heat transfer model to simulate the temperature evolution within the wire. So let's get started. So let's set up our electrostatics model. So first, I define the simulation domain. And next, I specify the governing PDE. And this is done in uh, Mathematica using the symbolic uh, representation. And, he, and then I need to specify the boundary condition. So at both ends, which mark in red and uh, yellow, I apply voltage. So I use Dirichlet condition to specify the electric potential on the left end and the right end. And now, our model is set up and ready to be solved. The solving process is very simple. We just uh, send our PDE models into ND solve. Here is the PDE we just uh, specify and the boundary condition we set up. And here, we are solving for electric field V over the 3D domain. The return will be an interpolating function. So let's take a look at our result. So here, uh, first, we can visualize the electric potential field over the wire. At the left end, it is held at 0.2 volt. At the right end, it is fixed at 0 x what we expected. OK, so based on the electric field V fund we solved for, we can calculate the electric heat generation. And this heat generation is in proportional to the square of the electric gradient. And this is done in Wolfram language using this line, which is very simple. And we can see the heat generate the most at the inner edge of the wire. Oh, OK. So it is hide it here. It is, not, uh, it, it is a lot of code, but it, it is not complicated because uh, I, like, I, use the, uh, I have to set up the legend bar and that kind of thing. Yeah. But uh, yes. It's in Q. Got it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And with this Q, we can even calculate the total heat generation over the entire domain. And this is done by integrating over the domain. And in Wolfram language, we have a function called an, uh, an integrate. And we find the uh, total heat generation is about 37 watts. So as you see, uh, to do this kind of post-processing in the Wolfram language, it is very easy because uh, Wolfram language is an integrated software. And we have many powerful functions for numerical computing. So this is one main advantage to do PDE modeling in uh, our framework. So now, for now, we have solved for the electric field and the electric heat generation. Let's build a heat transfer model to simulate the temperature distribution over the wire. So to do so, uh, recall that we have the uh, heat generation Q that we just compute. And using this Q, we can we build the heat transfer PDE model. And here, I make use of a PDE modeling function. And these functions are provided in our tutorial. So if we go to the PDE models overview page, and here we are modeling heat transfer. So we go to heat transfer, and we go to heat transfer model setup. Then you can find the PDE modeling function here. And we will teach you how to use it and what arguments we need. So next we have to set up the initial condition and the boundary condition. So for the initial condition, we assume the wire temperature is equal to uh, 
ambient temperature at the beginning of the heating process. And for the boundary condition, at both ends, the wire temperature is held at 300 Kelvin, which is equal to ambient temperature. So we, we use Dirichlet condition to model this. And on the side boundary, which is marked in orange, the heat is dissipating uh, due to the thermal radiation and thermal convection. So this, I model this using Newman value. And if you uh, want to find this uh, formula, you don't have to look it up by yourself. The only thing you do is go to the, our tutorial. And here, I got a section uh, entitled Boundary Conditions in Heat Transfer. And I list a lot of boundary conditions that is ready for your use. So now, let's solve for our heat transfer model. As usual, I just send my PD model into ND solve, and I solve for the wire temperature for the first 300 seconds. So let's take a look at the result. I can build an animation to, to visualize the temperature evolution. And also, I can calculate the heat dissipation due to the thermal radiation, convection, and conduction. So this is done by boundary integration. So I, again, use an integrate. And I found the radiation heat loss is about 7.52 watt. And I can, do, uh, I can compute the heat loss via convection and conduction in a similar way. So for now, we have complete a sequential PDE model. At first, we solve for the elect we build an electrostatics model to simulate the electric field V, and based on this field uh, electric field V, we build another heat transfer model to simulate the temperature field. We can solve this in sequence because the electric field doesn't depends on the temperature, but Imagine, what if we are modeling two different physics that will interact with each other? Then in that case, we cannot solve the model in sequence. So in this case, we will say we have a fully coupled PDE model. And to build and uh, solve for a fully coupled PDE model in Wolfram language, the workflow is very much the same. The only difference is that we have to construct our PDEs, uh, construct all of our PDEs at the, same, uh, at the first step, group it together to form a couple PDE systems, and then we will solve these couple PDE systems at the same time. And then we can do some post-processing. So let's take a look at this result, uh, this example. So here I'm modeling a heat exchanger the cold flow is coming in from the bottom, flow over several heating tubes, and then exit the domain from top. I'm interested in the temperature field and the flow field within the system. So I have to build a heat transfer model and a fluid dynamics model. So note that the temperature depends on the flow field, and the flow field also depends on the temperature, which make it a fully coupled PDE model. So let's set up our model. So as usual, we define our simulation domain, and then we construct the heat, tra heat transfer PDE model and the fluid dynamics model. And again, I use the PDE modeling function here. And next, I have to set up the boundary condition. For example, I have to specify the flow velocity at the flow inlet. And I can, solve, I can uh, model other boundary conditions in the similar manner. And then I group all the boundary conditions together for the later use. And now, let's solve for our PD model. So to solve for this couple PDE models, we have to 
group all the PDEs together to form a couple PDE system. And then we just send it into undisolve. So our powerful undisolved function can solve for this, can handle these nonlinear and couple equations. So let's take a look at the result. So we can visualize the temperature distribution uh, using contour plots, and we can expect the uh, flow velocity using the arrow plot. And to, we can also calculate the mean temperature at the outlet to see the performance of this heat exchanger. So this is done using the boundary integration. And again, we use an integrate. So you can see the temperature has been raised by 300 Kelvin to 300.3 Kelvin. Yeah. So uh, today we have uh, we see a sequential PDE model, and we build this sequential PDE model to simulate and the electric heating of the wire. And next, we uh, construct the fully coupled PDE models to simulate the interaction between flow field and the temperature field. And you can find more examples like this in our tutorial. So let's go. Here I have the, maybe I should make this a bit larger. Yeah, here I have examples in acoustics and I have examples in fluid dynamics and I have examples in heat transfer. And even more, I have examples for multi-physics which models the interaction between different physical fields. <coughs> So yeah, this is what I have today. Thank you very much. And if you, uh, you can download this slide using this QR code. And you can find all the tutorials in, uh, our, uh, in the documentation center in the PDE models overview page. Some of the tutorials are already available and some of them will be ready in 12.1 version. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.